guys, Sherry here from No Facts Game Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Yang reading for March the 9th until the 20th. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing crystal ball reading, so there's going to be five rows, uh, four cornerstone cards, one center card. There's a message from the universe. Um, and then I'll pull one final card as well to read to you. So I'm using my cards. If you want to order my deck, you can reach me at sherry shock at hotmail.com. So you can buy the deck for $75 or you uh, can order a reading as well for $100. So it's a really good deal. All right, so first cornerstone card. So this is uh, the Karmic Justice card, uh, number 11. So this card kind of pulled up, was pulled as an overall energy for the Twin Flame reading. So it seems to me like You've been through a difficult situation and justice was served. You found balance um, and you felt like karma was on your side or you felt justified. Okay, next. Wow, synchronicity. Magician also showed up in your past position for the Twin Flame reading. So, one, one, one. Um, this is the Magician Crown Chakra Activation, um, your connection with Source. This is Tesla, who found um, the ultimate source of um, energy by tapping into zero point. So it's a self-conscious mind. Uh, it's power of concentration or to manifest something. So as a result of this sense of justification, there's an activation of the self-conscious mind in order to manifest your dreams, create your own reality. Wow, another synchronicity. The Four of Cups also showed up in your past position. It was the future past. So feeling that disconnect, feeling stagnation, feeling like things aren't moving, even though there was this activation that occurred. Next, another Four, Four of Wands, Twin Flame Connection. It's almost like you're, you know, turning your back on it in a way, not seeing this connection or feeling lonely, wanting it, wanting to reconnect. Next, the moon, major arcana, cornerstone card. Uh, so, you know, the things that go bump in the night, facing your fears, not listening to the goblins. Um... So it's on the other side of the Twin Flame commitment card there. So there's still some fears that you need to face before you feel that you can have that Twin Flame union. This is commitment, buying a home together, you know, being married. Um, recent past, Crown Chakra activation. So major sense of awareness is occurring um, yeah and it's right below that all those ones there you know we got the three ones here here we have the 1111 card I use that as confirmation of a twin flame connection and then facing your fears and gaining this major wisdom and connectivity to source as a result of it next the tower sudden change disruption um, so illusions are torn down and it's because of this awareness you can't hold on to lies anymore interesting the king of pentacles shows up um, I think in the future position Accomplishment, um, feeling successful, you know, this could be a family man as well. Um, so things were built on a faulty foundation, they came tumbling down. 
and you're you kind of had this face that you needed to maintain with the public um, or you know a tower happened and it's like something that you you wanted there's awareness around it next two of wands masculine also got this I think so expansion of consciousness awareness um, opening yourself to all the possibilities so through that destruction, through that mayhem, the, a door opened. Five of Cups, Mourning Loss, right below the Moon card. Uh, okay, so it wasn't as great as I thought. You know, there was a sense of mourning that happened, but the door is open. There's an opportunity there. Present position, we have the Judgment card, right below the Justice and the Crown Chakra. So. Again, this is realizing that your life is just an illusion. You have the power to create your own reality. So this is playbacking you know, your life uh, and um, being aware of all the decisions that you made or as a result of conditioning. None of it really was your own. So you can create your own life, your own reality. And that's you taking control. Six of Swords moving to calmer waters. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, we got that tower, that destruction, chaos. So this is making a conscious decision to retreat, to find solitude, to make decisions that are best for you. Next card is from the universe. Nice, Yang card. It showed up in the future for the feminine. Um, so the message from the universe is to be Yang, to, be, to take control, be powerful, right below the King of Pentacles. Um, there's a lot of stability there and like this protectorate type of energy. Um, make decisions that are best for you. When you're happy, then everything else falls into place. Everybody else will be happy. Next, the Knight of Cups. Move forward. Uh, so he wants to move forward, offer his love, his commitment. The door is open there and there's a sense of him wanting to move forward with that. So... You know, that's offering your hand in marriage, possibly. Oh, wow. And then we got the Four of Pentacles closed off. So somebody might be closed off. Um, or this could be the masculine, you know, disconnecting, closing off because of things not working out the way that you had hoped. Uh, I don't know. I think I might want to pull clarify for that. I'm just going to pull one card on my little deck here. What do you mean by the Four of Pentacles? See, we got all this negative energy with the Moon, the Five of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. It could be um, a karmic partner, a separation. You had to end something very suddenly and move away from it and close yourself off from it. Genuine, yeah. The emperor gets his power from being authentic. So you become closed off in order to pursue a life that's best for you. Um, you want a genuine life. You don't want a negative vibration in your life anymore, I guess. Okay, so the near future we have Nine of Wands, exhaustion, giving a lot of yourself. Um, to an idea, creative venture, um, or a spiritual journey. This is spiritual strength. But feeling knocked down, but you still have the strength to get back up and keep going. So um, you're being tested. Ten of swords. You're being tested to completely end something. Look at this row here. Magician. It's the conscious decision that you need to change, make a change in order to receive this twin flame connection, uh, you can't stop the tower. It comes in, changes your life. The door swings open. You deal with a mourning and loss, but then you make a decision to take control of your life, move away from a negative energy, and pursue love. Um, but there, remember that as a final outcome, he had uh, chopping wood, which is 
you know, needing to let go of something. Something's clinging to you. Wow, another synchronicity, the masculine also got the two cups in the future. So he's making a conscious decision to pursue the twin flame connection. He's cutting away those barriers, releasing himself from the mental prison with the Eight of Swords um, so that he can have that love in his life. Oh yeah, okay. He also had the Five of Wands too that was challenging him, another synchronicity. So definitely overcoming these obstacles. You know, there's this negative energy surrounding him, but there's love right in the center. There's that love, uh, unconditional true love that ultimately makes him feel powerful and stable. Final row, Eight of Wands, communication. So accelerated energy, um, moving into a more positive vibration, but it also could mean texting, phone call. Remember, the he got the King and Queen of uh, Swords. Seven of Pentacles is waiting a long time for something to happen, and while you're waiting for the ships to return, you're contemplating. You're considering your options. So we got um, a sense of things starting to become uplifted, and the, a pause there. The base chakra, feeling of safety, security, so... Um, you know, wanting to create the stability and make his decisions based on that. Wow, the King of Swords again, another synchronicity, clarity. And it's like, you know, behind we have that Eight of Swords, so it's like he releases himself from that mental prison. Final card, the Ego. He chops away the constraints. Once and for all deals with the Ego. Moves into this very powerful energy, I believe. All right, so final message from the universe. What is your final message? Venus with cherubs, yeah. It's true love. You got the true love card in the twin flame reading as well. 14. And you got the two of cups twice. Definitely love there okay so my heart is pure i pledge my heart to forge with thee a perfect start i vow of honor and devotion passion deep as any ocean a lasting link binds me to you this is our love our love is true wow uh venus the classical love goddess rides her seashell vessel across the sea accompanied by a trio of winged cherubs Love is true. The goddess of love is paying you a visit. This can only mean one thing. You have found or will soon find your true love. Happiness, contentment, commitment, and trust. All of the pieces are coming together to create a long-lasting romantic relationship. If you have already found your perfect partner, rejoice knowing what a blessing you have and look forward to attaining a deeper level of passion together. If you are single, keep your sense heightened and pay special attention to those around you true love awaits but you if you wait too long for the perfect moment it might just pass you by yeah so feeling that stagnation feeling that dry desert right and making changes to release yourself clear away the cobwebs and the dirt in order to um, pursue love follow your heart. All right, guys, I do hope this helps and please like, share and subscribe. All right, cheers.